Hey folks, it's your girl, Lexi Mahari, back with another episode of Buzzworthy Chit Chat. Before we dive into this video, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a brand new video. Looks folks, I am on a crusade to get 100 subscribers by the end of May. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Guess what? You don't have to watch every video I post. That's the joy, the beauty of having a choice. But I definitely would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. But now that we've gotten that out of the way, it is time to dive into the latest news around the Wendy Williams show. By now, you may have heard that there are multiple reports out indicating that Sherry Shepard is going to be named the permanent host of Wendy Williams show. According to page six, beginning September 2022, former View co-host Sherry Shepard will take over the series regularly. However, one source is telling page six that the move will not be forever. So TMZ is stating that producers are going to monitor Wendy Williams progress between now and September, which is when they would premiere the show's 15th season. If Wendy is healthy enough to host, then she'll be welcomed back with open arms. However, if not, then Sherry Shepard will be poised to take over and producers will consider a name change for the talk show. And I think that's pretty fair, right? What do you think about that? I think that is actually a very fair option. I think that falls in line with what Sherry has said consistently. You can tell, you know, I don't, I haven't watched it recently, but I think during those initial weeks when she came on the show, uh, she made it very clear. I think that she was not comfortable um, wanting to take, take over or step in, you know, without Wendy's blessings. I don't think she wants to be seen as that girl, that woman who came in and quote, took someone's job, right? Even if Wendy is not uh, capable of being there. So I think that is actually a great opportunity in that. Um, and, and the fact that Sherry wants to do it that way, I would assume if she is going to, you know, sign such an agreement that, you know, hey, this is her show. If Wendy does not recover in time for September of 2022, I think that's a fair option. Personally, for me, if something like that was going on and I had any type of uh, mixed emotions about stepping into someone else's shoes or trying to fill that purple chair that, you know, I would want to know that, um, you know, it's, it's a fair a fair agreement that is in place potentially where if this person does not recover, then yeah, the show is mine. Uh, as it relates to the name change, I hope they change the name. Obviously, if Wendy is no longer going to be tied to that show, you know, beginning in September of 2022, then they do need to change it to Sherry, you know, quite honestly, because it will no longer be Wendy's show. Now, of course, there was a lot of conversation about Wendy potentially returning to the show in March of this year. But, you know, the reality of that still seems unlikely. We know that her guest co-hosts have been booked through at least March 4th. So we're, you know, we're expecting to continue to see Fat Joe, Remy Ma, Michael Rappaport, Bevy Smith, Terrence J, and Sherry Shepard is expected to return to be one of the co-hosts of the show. There's been a lot of controversy as well as relates to the perception that producers are out of touch with what it is the fans are looking for. They're not factoring in culture. And so there is concern amongst viewers that we as the African American audience is not being, you know, respected in the way that we would, you know, expect to be uh, as a result of Wendy's exit. And thus, obviously, there's been some concerns again, as it relates to to who some of the co-hosts have been. I know for me personally, I definitely tuned out certain weeks of the show. Uh, I will say I actually did watch uh, some of the days that Michael Rappaport was on there. You know, I know people uh, feel strongly about him <laughs> and him being on that show at all at this point. But, uh, you know, say what you will, he definitely has Wendy-esque uh, tendencies at times, love him or hate him. Um, you know, he, he 
kind of touches, uh, I think, on her tone from a male perspective. So for me, he was not really a challenge, but I recognize that I might be alone in that that theory uh, about Michael Rappaport. But there have definitely been some other people on the show that I have not necessarily, you know, been a fan of. Uh, again, to me, Sherry Shepard has been the best uh, co-host uh, amongst the group that has taken over that show and you know she brings the comedy that you need that's the great part about having a comedian you know uh host a show like that is that she knows how to factor in humor she can laugh at herself when she makes mistakes she has the ability to weave in personal stories you know and that's what we like about Sherry Shepard. You know, Sherry has been that way even back to the days when she was on The View. She would, you know, probably share too much in some people's opinions. Uh, she always gave us the real reaction. I still remember when uh, Prince came on the show. Um, I remember when uh, LL Cool J came on the show oh, oh, one of the times that he was there. And she, you know, obviously fans out in the way that anybody else would fan out uh, when it comes to certain celebrities. So I think that um, Sherry Shepard, in my opinion, is the logical choice. And, you know, I hope that, you know, should Wendy not return, that Sherry Shepard is given that opportunity. I actually was one of the few who hated to see her leave the view. Um, but at the same time, I recognized that she wasn't really a fit for that show. You could tell that she was um, occasionally off her game, you know, when they particularly when they got into the political commentary, you know, I think you it does take a specific type of panel to navigate that. And so uh, there were times when I felt like Sherry might have been out of her comfort zone with that, as well as um you know, perhaps some of the more intellectual topics, and I'll just kind of leave it there. But you know, I think this show is a perfect fit for her. And I think that, um, you know, she is going to be very successful, uh, should she be given the opportunity to do so. So share your thoughts with me. What do you think is going to happen? Will Wendy somehow make this random appearance on her own show before the end of the year before the end of the season, I should say? Do you think she'll be back in September? Leave your thoughts down in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you hung in through to the end, if you haven't hit that like button, don't forget to hit the like button and stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next video.